Well, Odette Ramos made history as the first Latino elected to Baltimore City Council. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, Caroline Forback spoke with Ramos about her Puerto Rican roots and the importance of representation. I'm from Puerto Rico. My dad was in the Air Force, and so we uh, moved around a lot, and I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We played a lot of music at our house uh, from Puerto Rico, which was great. Odette Ramos's journey to becoming Baltimore City's first council person of Latin descent started in New Mexico when her seventh grade teacher asked her to testify before Albuquerque City government about a recycling bill. As a, like, I was seventh grade, and then they passed the bill that day, and I was like, oh my God, this is great. Her interest in public service led her to attend Goucher College in Baltimore. I just fell in love with Baltimore when I was here, and I've stayed. Old architecture and unique neighborhoods. I really felt connected to Baltimore. Throughout her career in public service, Ramos has stayed connected to her heritage, serving as chair uh, of the Baltimore like Hispanic her, Chamber of Commerce years, and to her community, um, working like to address uh, vacant properties lot. and affordable housing in Baltimore. Coming into the city council, I'm able to continue to work on, um, on those issues as well. In 2020, uh, Ramos was elected to represent her beloved 14th district and became the first Latina ever to serve on Baltimore City Council. I feel like it's my responsibility to um, lift up those voices. She says she's working to expand access to city services for non English speakers. Ramos also noticed Baltimore's lack of Spanish speaking 911 operators, and now the city is using AI to help translate 911 calls. I don't know that that would have happened if I wasn't in that chamber asking that question. Ramos says she's acutely aware that she sits in the same chamber where city council passed the nation's first racial zoning ordinance in 1911, which she says still haunts Baltimore today. It was very humbling to walk into the exact same chamber um, and work hard to, to dismantle that impact. So it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. In Baltimore, Caroline Forback for WJZ.